Hi guys, in this video I will show a few Krasashi entries from the standing opponent. The video before I showed you with the kneeing opponent, now we go with the standing opponent. So, let's start here. Um, what we always try, we try to get here a chin on chin before we do anything. Because if we don't have an inside position of our foot, it's getting super hard um, to get the cross arches. I want to always have some kind of um, uh, inside position. At least one, but most better have two. How to get this? Most of you are starting at distance where we have no connection. So what I try, I try again winning the grip fight and maybe pull him. He will pull back and to pull back he needs to, to get weight on his legs and that's the moment for me to shoot forward and catching the leg there. Now, classic way, if he let everything works after plan, I would simply go inside because it's the easiest and the shortest way to get the, the uh, Ashigurami here, single X. And we're going on fighting from here with some kinds of sweeps. Or I can do the classical cross Ashi entry from here over the reverse X when I go for kicking him forward, getting the foot between. I'm doing a reverse X here. Now I lift him up, catch the leg, and going down. And that's a cross Ashi Eric. This is the entry from the single X. So when everything is going off the plan. Again, we are closing the distance. Now we have no distance. First, the grip fight. Never forget the grip fight. I pull myself into him, catching the leg. Have the leg here, fall into the side, lift him up, getting the single leg. Maybe he, he's reacting, whatever. I'm doing the ashiki. I'm blocking the leg here. I'm kicking him with the foot that I get the arms on the ground. As soon as I make, I uh, feel, okay, perfect. He's imbalanced, the arms are on the ground. I get him through with my foot here to the reverse X. And from here, I lift him up, simply towards me, catching the other leg, have both under control, and get him down. Easy thing. Classical way. But if you, you can mix it up a little bit, or the worst. Once again, I'm getting my single legs. But now, instead of for going directly for the single legs, I want to try to get the cross Ashi instantly. How I do this? I'm using the Ashi kick very, in a very early stage. So instead of falling to the side and going for the, um, single, uh, for the single legs here, I go um, to pull back. I pull him really um, close to me. And with the other hand, I'm blocking this leg. I try to get some connection on this leg here. So what I do, I'm doing this. And now I lift him up here. And I push this now directly towards me. So I try the imbalance early. Here, getting, getting the shin on shin. Now I pull him towards me. He's falling at my other foot. He's kicking, kicking, kicking. And the other hand now is pushing the leg there. And I get him through everything. Let's do it for you again. Realistic way, trying for the arm, boom, catching the leg here, stomping with this for first, and I really pull him towards me like this, and I kick him. And then I pull the foot, and I think it's fine. If you're missing this, it's not a big deal, because you can go back to the technique we did before. So maybe. He's moving in some way. I'm not expecting us. Even his belly is getting his balance back directly. He's going from here. What else? Again, going back to single legs. Now again, I try. Give a second try. So you have you can back switch. You can uh, switch back and forth from the single legs try and the cross ashi, cross ashi try. So that's one way you can do it from here. Another way, common way. What typical happens or what very often happens is when he is um, trying to defend my, my shin on shin. Typical thing what happens here, well, I'm there, I'm getting connection. And as soon as he feels um, I have the connection here, he needs to do something against it. And what many people are doing is they're getting a weight on my leg to the, the pass, freeing the, freeing the foot, whatever, or passing it for long step, whatever, and 
going to pass. So maybe what I like to do, show, show one thing here. As soon as I feel somebody is getting a shin on shin here, I'm dropping my weight here, taking this foot to free the other hook, getting inside position and um, being in headquarters. And I'm using exactly this against my opponent. So when he's trying, he's getting weight on it. I'm using my other foot to kick. And you see what I do again? I get my cross shoulder post or, post or my cross lap post. And if he's keeping imbalance here and keeping, trying to balance his weight on this arm, it's perfect for me to get round and to get my sweep. Once again, let me roll out of camera. So again, okay. coming here, going with the sumi, boom, and he's posting. My cross shoulder post, switching to cross lap post again. I'm inverting again, and I get my cross ashi from there. Obviously, <laughs> let's start from, from here again. Okay, I got my shin and shin. He is reacting. I'm taking my other foot. This foot is now doing the work. With the zoomy. And we do the same thing we did in the, on the kneeing partner. I'm kicking him. I try to get some kind of sweep here. Holding the knee, switching to cross lat post, going for the inversion, and getting down. And by ending up in a cross ash. So, very important thing here, if he's doing this, don't wait until he is freeing the leg and is getting this position. Now it's getting even harder because you have first to tumble it back in the other leg. So do it very early. Don't wait until he's freeing, until he's um, getting the inside position, he's winning the battle. So when you do this, do this directly on the way down. That means if you feel, oh, the weight is going exactly this direction, you have to use directly the swimming as your foot here to from over. So once again, he's getting to the inside here, boom, boom. And the nice thing here, if he's not balancing, what happens to get a sweep again, and what you can do, for sure, you're taking the cross arch again. The back step. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is all for free. You help us out by just clicking the subscription button and the notification bell. Leave us a comment what you want to see next. As you could see, we do videos for you if you ask for specific topics. And yeah, stay tuned for future videos. See you next time, guys.